So it's time to move on and moving on to the village. Now the village is up this way and it was quite a memorable experience playing through the village in the original game. Maybe not in the most positive way, I'd say. Oh wait, we're not quite there yet. We got to uh, get to get through here. Up. Oh, okay, so here's the... So I am playing the um, New Game Plus mode. So I think that means that, yep, all of my old shit's here. All right. Let's, uh, let's pull out my equipment. Perhaps we could consider this cheating. <laughs> Let's get rid of the magnum. What else do I need to have? The, the bolt gun. Okay. So the second time I'm playing through the game and New Game Plus is an option. I'm not really playing through the game here for these videos to show them as, show it as some kind of a challenge. I've already beat the game. There's no point in playing around with that. Nobody really comes to me anyway to learn how to do things, I don't think. So I want to try New Game Plus, and this is how I'm going to do it. So we have the upcoming village segment of the game, and it is quite the memorable experience. Huh. And you'll see why in a minute. Oh, damn it, every time. I swear, every freaking time. Damn it. <laughs> There's a guy in here. Hey, you doing? How about you come out and play? Yeah. What were you doing in there? <laughs> what I like about the bolt gun, although I didn't really use it much my first playthrough of this game, the bolt gun allows you to pick up the bolts that you've already launched. It's a silent weapon. It can do... It can stagger enemies. But you can pick up the ammo. So if you're running short on ammo, you can just sort of pick up more. Shit. That's gotta suck. Alright, let's go about our business. Alright, so I guess I'm not going to be sneaking around here. Alright, time to do this the old-fashioned way. Headshot heaven. All of my more advanced equipment is definitely making this encounter too easy. Whoa! You bitch. Okay. Leatherface is here. So the problem I have with this... Although, it's probably the most memorable part. 
probably the most memorable part of the game. The problem is it happens too early in the game. It's memorable, yeah. Should it be so memorable? Normally, when you're starting a story out, you kind of want to slowly ramp up into the intensity, not just throw yourselves into it immediately like they're doing here. Okay, that ended a lot faster than I was expecting it to. La campana. Ay, que me Él nos invoca. Tenemos que servir. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Hmm. Okay. Roost to Condor 1. I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. First out. Okay, so... That ended a little bit faster than it should have. I guess because I'm in the new game, plus the enemies die a little bit too quickly with these upgraded weapons that I have. I am not gonna be... I'm... I guess, at least in the beginning of the game, I'm going to be able to just sort of cruise through this entire thing. That's something, I guess. But the criticism I was trying to levy at this was that they go and they create this big action set piece at the beginning of the game, and then they have the rest of the game to try to live up to that. And you kind of want to blow your load immediately. It's going to sort of make everything you do after that seem less. But they did it here, and this is considered by many people the best Resident Evil game, so who the hell am I to judge, I guess? Picking up all the shit. You want to run around and make sure you collect everything in the area before you move on, because you don't want to miss stuff. Make the game harder for yourself. Just don't pick up everything. <laughs> okay. You can actually check the map. I already picked that up. You can check the map for all the places that you haven't... Um, all the items that Leon has seen, at least, but hasn't picked up. There's a locked chest here. What the hell were you doing in there? <laughs> Why aren't you in church? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff around here. I guess they... While running around in this area, they expected you to find a lot of stuff. But anyway, later on in the game, they do throw greater or maybe equal to number of enemies at you. Even more powerful enemies. So they probably feel like they're ramping up the intensity later on in the story. The reality is, by that point, 
Leon has more powerful weapons, sort of like I do now. <laughs> and you know how to play the game better, of course, so a lot of that intensity of the moment is just lost. And the game just doesn't... It feels like it just peaks in the beginning. That was absolutely necessary, by the way. That freaking chicken was, in fact, the ringleader of the entire operation. Who are you to tell me I'm wrong? Who burnt the cow up already? I didn't even run through there. <laughs> tell me one of the ganados went and did that? Psychos. Eh, whatever. I think this might be the last of the stuff. Okay, there's some stuff I can't get at right now. But I'm going to continue on. Nah, I'll leave them go. You don't need to do any of that shit. You know, since they're locked in there, maybe I should burn this fucking building down. How's that sound? I mean, it's made of stone, but you know, there's got to be something you can do. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, but I'll move on in the next episode. I gotta split these up, remember?